In a survey of 400 people, 243 responded that they like dogs. What percentage of these people like dogs? So this is an example of an applied percentage problem, and clearly this is a made-up problem, because there's no way that only 243 people out of 400 like dogs. Obviously it's made up, but it illustrates how we find the percentage uh, that relates to numbers. So when we set up an applied percentage problem, it's often helpful to write an equation that looks like this. A equals PB. And what this says is that A is some percentage of B. So P is the percentage, A and B are two numbers, and they're related by this percentage. So remember, when we translate a sentence into an equation, we replace the word is with equals, and the word of with multiplication. So this would read A is P of B. So in this case, we're asking 243 is what percentage of 400? So to solve for P, the percentage, which we're looking for, simply divide both sides by 400. And we can plug this into our calculator, find that 243 divided by 400 is 0 0.6075. That equals P. And since the question was phrased in terms of percentages, we'll convert this decimal into a percent by moving the decimal point two places to the right. So our answer is that the percentage of people in this survey who responded yes is 60.75%.